A small group of people rallied today outside the Veterans Administration in Mobile to bring awareness to a very large problem, the opioid crisis. They say while the government is cracking down on people who abuse drugs, they're leaving a lot of people, including our patriots, in pain. These protesters didn't allow the weather to put a damper on their message. Not everybody is a junkie. You know, people need these drugs to have, to leave their, to leave their house, to live their life. And if you take that from them, what do they have left? David Bonner served eight years in the Army as a military police officer. I suffer from Crohn's disease. I'm a diabetic and I've got some major back issues. And when I lost my pain medication through the VA, I'm not ashamed to admit that I, you know, the mind goes into the dark places. And I actually contemplated suicide like many other my, bro my veteran brothers have done and have actually followed through. 60,000 veterans have taken their own lives in the past 10 years. This group is calling for an end to pain, not lives, and the mistreatment of legitimate pain patients. You get ostracized, you know, you get dirty looks, things like that, but it's people that, that suffer from incurable diseases. He says standing in the rain for two hours isn't good for his back, but it's important to him to raise awareness and to send a message to fellow veterans. Those, those ones that are going to the dark place, don't do it. Don't do it. Just, just keep on fighting. You know, we, we learned to fight in the military, and we're going to keep fighting even out of the military. The Alabama Don't Punish Pain Group says programs like the Veterans Choice Program are workable. They say Congressman Bradley Byrne used it to help one of their veterans get his medications, saying it's complicated with all the red tape, but it can be done.